I'm Ken. I live in Wisconsin. I've been a Republican my whole life since turning 18. And this year I will not be voting for Donald Trump. There are really three top priorities that I believe have been held closely by the Republican Party. And none of these values are held today by Donald Trump. And that's truly fiscal conservatism, strong global partnerships, and really respecting the three branches of our federal government. The Republican Party today is really not the party that I believe you know, majority of Republicans want, expected, or intended to, um, to be the case. And I think it's just gotten way too extreme, way too far to the right, is being controlled really by a small minority that does not represent the majority of a conservative Republican person. And really what we're seeing today is the attorney general is his personal lawyer. And that is absolutely detrimental to our process. Uh, cozying up with dictators. And that is becoming the norm for the Trump administration. And that is just so dangerous uh, to, to our country. Um, really uh, eliminating, getting rid of any opinion that differs from his and not encouraging any alternative opinions, disregarding facts, disregarding science. These are all very destructive and very alarming behaviors from a person who's running the you know, largest country in the world. And that is why I'm supporting Joe Biden. I've uh, never voted Democrat in my entire life. And you know, there's certainly things that are left to be desired. However, the things that are most important uh, and most out of control now uh, Joe Biden stands to support and change that. And it's really not just a vote against uh, Donald Trump. It, it, it is a vote to support Joe Biden uh, and, and some of the qualities that he will bring to the administration, such as really he is um, a supportive, he's inclusive of certainly many different um, backgrounds and beliefs and opinions. And I think that he brings an element to the administration or would bring an element to the administration um, that would actually mend a lot of wounds and, um, and bring, I think, some reason and sanity back to really our government in general.